How do you start? How do you start? Um, ah, um, I don't even know. I don't even know how to open this. I'm graduating college. Yeah. It's kind of the whole point of the video. I'm sure if you saw the title, uh, thank you, Westchester. That's the name of the college I'm graduating from, uh, Westchester University. And so I want to take time to make this video to just kind of say thank you to the university and for the opportunities that's given me and just the way that they've allowed me to grow as a person and go from this to this. Like, I wanted to express how they were, you know, there were so many things and I'm tripping over these words because I'm just, I'm so thankful for what they've allowed me to do. I mean, I, I've been able to meet so many cool people. I've been able to go through so many different struggles and ups and downs. And Westchester University gave me the opportunity to grow and to learn and to master the art of like media, obviously video production, um, growing relationships with people. And it's been such an amazing opportunity. Um, and obviously as this video is playing and things are going, like you're gonna see all sorts of pictures and videos of the times that I've had at Westchester. And I'm so, I'm so grateful. Um, I'm humbled, I'm blessed by what, what it's given me and the roadmap that Westchester University has allowed me to have. Um, and so as you can see right here, got it right here. Boom, boom. Got that cap and gown and the honors cord. That's right. Even if you didn't believe it, your boys graduated with honors. Um, and it's really, it's such a cool opportunity. And by the time that this video comes out, I will have already had my degree. And I, if you had asked me a couple years ago, would I have had a college degree, let alone a bachelor's degree from university, I probably would have told you no. Like I was in a spot where I was really struggling. I was filling out of school. In fact, I got academically banned from a community college for a semester because of the way that things were going and just the laziness. I didn't, didn't have a roadmap. I didn't have friends. I had nothing going for me. Um, and that was a lot on me for just laziness and not caring. And the fact that Westchester University still accepted me and all that and brought me in and gave me a chance. And I'm extremely humbled by that and the way that they've allowed me to grow and this the fact that they were able to take me on, like someone who literally wanted nothing to do with school, had no roadmap for any sort of success, had no desire to grow in anything, didn't really want to build new relationships. I was kind of, you know, content with where I was at in a bad way. I think that contentness is good, but there's certain areas of your life that being content isn't good. And you need to be willing to grow and move up and mature in those ways. And um, Westchester gave me that opportunity. And I just, I wanted to take a chance to say thank you to them and also thank you to certain people and groups that allowed me to be the person that I am today. Um, and once again, like you saw earlier, like going from the picture that I was, that was before I got into college. And then this is a pretty picture that I flashed up of me um, right around now, like heading into graduation. And I don't even know where to begin. Like I'm, I'm overwhelmed with, I guess, emotions and gratitude towards everything that I've been able to discover at Westchester and then some. Um, and none more important, none more important than the groups that have allowed me to reconnect and continue building my relationship with the Lord. And for me, out of everything that I did at Westchester, out of all the growth, out of all the clubs I was involved with, out of all the relationships I've made, um, the skills that I've gained, the degree that I'm going to get, the classes I took, the professors that I met, of all that, nothing, and I mean nothing, is more important to me than the fact that God was able to use Westchester University to help me grow closer to Him and reconnect with Him, because there was definitely a point in my life a few years ago where I wanted nothing to do with that. Um, and so I'm grateful and I'm thankful, and I know that the Lord was moving in that and used these groups to connect with me and connect me back to him, which is uh, ultimately what this thing about life is all about. And for me, you know, no, nothing in this life really matters if I'm not doing it for the Lord. And Westchester University and what they provided for me gave me that chance. Um, so first and foremost, uh, before I get into sort of that stuff, I want to thank like the professors. Now, I'm not what you would call someone who loves school. Uh, but the professors, they, they challenged me in certain ways and I'm thankful for that. And that allowed me to be more disciplined, um, and just meet cool people and do these different assignments. And it's just given me such an amazing opportunity 
to grow and learn and just hone new skills and new abilities to do things like this even like this right now like even the fact that there's lighting i have a mic like i got this camera like all these things that Westchester university provided for me and learning in different classes taking like a digital storytelling class i'm forever thankful for that um so thank you to them uh, i also really really want to give a huge shout out to their local radio station wcur who gave me a show gave me Bushy White, a show on their radio station, live on the airways for two years. I was able to go on and speak and learn and grow my ability to publicly speak, learn how to run a board, play my own music, have talk shows that were sports centered. Um, and the fact that I was able to do that and that WCR gave me that is, I don't even know how to express my gratitude for that and my thankfulness for that. Because it's always something that I wanted to do. And it's like, oh, you know, it'd be cool to be on a radio or TV or have stuff like that. But Westchester had a radio station. They allowed me to go through the training and join and have my own show. And it was so much fun. And I don't want to name drop people only because I don't know who is and isn't comfortable with uh, having their names out there. But thank you to everyone at the radio station. Thank you to all of you who may be watching this, who was somewhat involved with WCR and allowed me to have that ability to learn how to publicly speak again, how to get behind a mic and talk and be confident and fluctuate your voice up and down and do different things and learn how to hit home points and then talk quietly. And that that's all all thanks to you guys at WCUR. Um, and on top of that, like I mentioned, the digital storytelling class, I was able to start a different podcast. And through that podcast and that class, I've been able to meet these incredible people, um, guys like Pooh Fesher, who's a YouTuber, and other YouTubers like Oma and Subtrist. And these are guys, um, I'll put their channels in the in this editing and I'll link them down below. Um, make sure you go subscribe, follow them, comment on their videos, do all that. But Westchester, in a way, connected me to these guys who do YouTube full time. And they're some of the coolest guys ever. Like when if you were to ever talk to them or reach out to them and they get back to you, um, specifically Pooh Fesher, although his, his content can be can be a little childish at times. He's such, such a cool guy. And I'm so, you know, overwhelmed the fact that I went from someone who was watching his videos and a fan of him. And because Westchester gave me this project essentially to do a podcast and I reached out to him and connected with him. And now he's a good friend of mine. Um, so thank you Westchester for um, unintentionally connecting me to different YouTubers like Oma, Subtrish and, Perf and Pooh Fesher. I'm, I'm grateful for that. Whew. I mean, I don't even know where else to go. Uh, there's just, there's so, there's so much to be thankful for in what Westchester gave me. Um, I guess I've been debating going back and forth with what to talk about first and second. Um, I guess I, I want to be, I want to be thankful. There, like, I, I don't have time to, to thank everything. But um, the guys of AGO, most people who are on YouTube or watching this or probably even following my social medias don't know what AGO is. Um, it is a Christ-centered fraternity that is at several campuses and I was blessed enough to be able to join them um, through Westchester uh, and their chapter at Westchester, uh, AGO for short, Alpha Gamma Omega. And those guys, and the way that they would challenge me and push me to grow as a person and more importantly, as a follower of the Lord is insurmountable. I, I can't even describe my gratefulness for them. And the way guys, I want to take a quick pause to give you some context for the rest of the video. So unfortunately, while I was recording, my nicer camera died on me, but that's why I had two cameras running at all times, just in case something happened. And it did. Um, so the video quality for the rest of the video is not nearly as good, but the audio is still there and it's still very crisp audio. Um, but I wanted to give you some context in case you see this and wonder what happened to the video quality. Uh, my nicer camera died, but the laptop camera that I recorded with my backup camera still ran. And the reason I kept this in and did not re-record 
is because everything that I said is heartfelt and it's unscripted and it's truly how I feel. And I felt that if I re-recorded, it would sound a little bit scripted and fake and I didn't want that. So the rest of the video, the quality is not nearly as good, but the audio is still crisp and I mean every single word that I said. And please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'm gonna get you right back to the video. But they've pushed me and the way that they allowed me to, to grow. And it's so funny that before I entered Westchester, I would have thought, uh, you know, Greek life, fraternity, letters. I want no part of that. No way that I would want to be anywhere close to Greek life, fraternity life, anything like that. And the Lord humbled me in that, in the way that I was able to join AGO. Um, and to this day, some of my closest friends are because of AGO, because of you guys. And so I'm talking directly to you guys of AGO. Uh, I, and I'll, I'll put it down. Um, I'm sure somewhere I'm, it might be a little bad in this editing, but somewhere in this vicinity, uh, we'll, I'll put it up there. And if people are interested, if you're in college and you're looking for a way to connect um, with a Christian group, with a group of guys that care about the Lord, um, I think they're at like maybe 10, 10 campuses. Um, but yeah, I'll put them there. You can check them out. And I'm really, I'm humbly and thankful for them. And I'm honored for just the lifelong friendships I was able to make through them and just the blessing that they've been in my life. And like I said, some of my closest friends to this day is because of AGO and the way that I was able to join and that they brought me in and that they wanted me. And like these guys took someone who was trying to find a way who had recently had a dramatic change in his life by going to Westchester and walking into this thing, not knowing a person. Mind you, a lot of people join fraternities. They know someone or they get plugged in or they know an alumni. I literally didn't know a thing. And these guys still were willing to take me in and help me develop and grow as a man of God. And I, I don't know how to express. I don't know how to like that. That doesn't fully vocalize my gratitude for you guys and everything that you've done for me. Um, and I guess the um, the last thing, the last group that I would want to talk about and kind of stay on for the longest time would be that of crew. Um, crew WCU, Crew Westchester, for those of you who don't know what crew is, it is a global ministry that is really all about connecting people to the Lord and to the gospel. And I'm sure some people watch this video and be like, oh, he, he didn't say the, they had like a former tagline. You know me, I don't follow the rules. So I'm not going to give you the formal tagline, but essentially it's a ministry that connects people to the Lord. And the way that crew got me to where I am today is something that I don't know how to fully explain, except for the grace of God through the using them and the way that they just the way that God used crew to grow me. Uh, when I first went to Westchester, I went to a men's Bible study for the first time, uh, walked in li literally no knowledge of anything. I wasn't even at the school at the time. I was in my last semester of community college, but knew someone who went to Westchester and was involved with crew. And so I reached out and said, hey, you know, I'm transferring to Westchester uh, in the spring, but is there any way that I can join a Bible study in the fall to get connected and get to know these guys? He's like, yeah, sure. And of course this was during COVID. so. It lasted about two weeks in person before the university. Oh, we got to shut down. You can't meet. You got to go back online. Uh, uh, -uh. But luckily that's all over. No Lord willing, no more COVID issues at all. Um, no more masks, anything like that. But he, I walked into a room of zero knowledge of the house, the people in the house, anything about them. And the way that they brought me in and just allowed me to be me but challenge me to an extent to grow as a person is something that I don't think I've ever truly had in my life up until that point. Uh, they, they were willing to be like, yeah, like this is, this is Bushy. This is him. But if he's going to say something and do something that's wrong as everybody's wrong at some point in their life, let's admit it. No one's perfect. Um, they were willing to lovingly challenge me and it, it allowed me to grow and sit back and think like, wow, these, these guys are right and they're challenging me, but they're doing it in a loving way. Um, and that led me joining crew is what led me to AGO because I found that a lot of the guys were a part of the fraternity. 
um, the way they were talking and handling themselves wasn't exclusively, it wasn't like some exclusive club, but it was a way of, I want to know more about these guys. I um, mean, that was through the Bible study. I, I didn't truly get like plugged in, plugged in until I would say last fall. So fall of 21. Um, they had like these bonfires, they had different events, different groups, and just the way that people allowed, like I said, me to be me. And if you know me well, you know that not exactly the easiest guy to handle. I, I can be difficult at times. There is no doubt about it. In the way that I handle myself, I tend to cause drama in situations that maybe don't need any drama. Um, people who are watching this and know me, you know what I'm referring to in several cases. Uh, <laughs> but I'm, I'm glad that they were able to lovingly bring me in and allow me to grow. And I've made so many cool friends, so many just amazing memories uh, at Westchester through their crew. And the people that I've met there, I don't know where life is going to take me. I don't know what my future holds. I don't know what anything looks like. Um, because I can't break the future, but I know that through crew at Westchester, I've been able to make what I tend to think are lifelong friends. And these are friends that I can see, you know, being in and at weddings, um, being at those big moments, uh, their kids, knowing your kids, staying connected after I graduate, uh, which again, will have happened by the time you're watching this video. Uh, so just the, the, it's been so great. And throughout this you've been seeing pictures and videos of memories that i've had of things that i've been able to do at westchester it doesn't even come close to matching the amount of fun i had and the true blessing of college when you truly get involved because that's the thing about college you can go and you can take your classes and you can be a part of whatever you want to be um you can just go you can commute take classes go home that's not the college experience i know when i first went to westchester my biggest concern was, oh, I'm not going to live on campus. I'm not going to live in a house. I'm not going to have these roommates. I'm not going to have the college campus. I'm just going to go to class and that's going to be that. And I was so humbled and so wrong in that because I was able to get involved. And I truly honestly believe that the Lord was moving in my heart to get involved with these things because when I first went there, it, my mentality was not that of getting to do things, getting involved and just kind of saying, eh, you know, maybe I'll do my classes. Maybe I'll show up to a crew event. Maybe I won't. Um, and then I really got involved and really met some of the coolest people. I've had some great deep life conversations with these people at Westchester, through crew, through AGO. Um, and even like in like classes at the radio station, I've had some awesome life talks with those people as well. And just th the memories that I've made are lifelong memories. And I'm glad that I was able to capture some of them. Again, this is not all of them. This is not things that this doesn't capture my entire experience at Westchester. It, it doesn't. I don't think anything can, anything will. And I've learned in due time that if you get so caught up in taking these pictures and these videos and trying to capture the moment on a phone, you're going to truly miss out on being actually present in the moment. And so while I would have, yes, I would have liked to have more pictures or videos. I always do. I've always loved having those things. Um, I am forever just thankful that I did that less and less and was able to be in the moment itself more and more because nothing can compare to actually being present in the moment because you're not going to get that time back. And is there going to be some sadness to me moving on from Westchester and the college life? Obviously, but that, that happens in every part of life. Your best friend when you're little moves away and then some people in middle school go to different high schools and you graduate high school and people disperse, go here, here, and here. They go all different places. And then obviously you come back and the friendships are there, but they're not the same. And then when you graduate college, people move countrywide. They're doing their jobs. They get families and all those things. And this is all great stuff. I don't want it to sound like I'm trying to portray graduation as a bad thing. I am so excited for what the future holds. I don't know what it is, but I know that it's in God's hands and it's in his control. And I can't wait to see how he's going to use me in that. But my point is that there's nothing like college as long as you get involved. You will meet some of the coolest people, some of the closest connections that you will ever make in life. And I'm overwhelmed with 
what Westchester has given me and the fact that it was able to present me with these different clubs and opportunities to get connected, to rekindle my relationship with the Lord, to grow my skills in podcasting and YouTube and radio. And I just, I'm so thankful. I'm so grateful. I don't even know if I using the proper words to express that. Um, and everyone who's involved and every single person that I've come across at Westchester, you are a part of my experience, whether it was one conversation, one high, whether we were close friends and now we're not, whether we weren't close friends for majority of the time and now we are, whatever the connection to me is and whatever you and I connected on a certain level, you are part of my college experience and you are part of allowing me to grow and mature and be the person that I am today. And so I am forever thankful to you, to the conversation we've had, to the university. And I don't know what the future holds. I really don't. I mean, I'm right here now, I'm here on YouTube. I would love to grow this channel. Um, there's no doubt that the plus side to graduating college is no more homework, no more stress, no more commuting to classes, no more presentations, tests. I can invest more in you guys, in the audience, in making content, in producing content, in investing money, not into paying tuition, but into getting newer equipment for the studio and giving you guys a better view and experience. That, that's what this is about. That's what this channel is about, is allowing you guys to be entertained for a short amount of time during this stressful part of life, whether you're in college, in high school, having a tough time at work, to be able to come on here and just be entertained. And that's what this is all about. Um, so hopefully you guys stay with me. Hopefully you are continuing to enjoy the content I put out. And it wouldn't be a YouTube video if I didn't ask you to comment, like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Not a real YouTube video if you don't do that. Um, but yeah, I, I'm thankful. And that's really the word I can think of is thankful and grateful for Westchester University and every single person who's been a part of my life at Westchester and has allowed me to grow, to mature, to make mistakes. Because if you know me, I'm going to make plenty of mistakes, but use those mistakes to learn from them and to grow and become the person that I am today. A college graduate with, there's that, and somehow, some way, an honors cord going from almost failing out of college to an honors cord. And that that's a true testament of the Lord and the work that he's done in my life. But again, thank you. Just thank you, Westchester University for the life that you've given me, for the paths that you've allowed me to go down, for the connections that I've made, um, to people that I know, and just to the fact that I've connected relationally to so many different people, um, despite the ups and downs, despite the tough conversations, despite the, you know those, those mess ups that I've had, um, you guys have allowed me to grow and learn and mature and be who I am today, and I would not be here without you guys so thank you i hope that this video wasn't too long or too tedious for you uh, i hope that you enjoyed the pictures and the videos of my college experience and it's on to the next one who knows what's next who knows what's into the future i'm trying to get the podcast back up and going i'm going to have a lot more time to give you guys content and entertainment and that i cannot wait for so do not forget to like do not forget to comment subscribe turn on those post notifications and I'm so thankful for you guys watching, for people who are liking the video, and for everyone in my life who has pushed me and challenged me to be where I'm at today. I wouldn't be here without you guys. So thank you. Here's to the future. And I cannot wait to see where it takes us. And I hope that you guys are coming on the journey with me. And we will see you next time. Boom.